for post merchants. And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. First one out of the stalls, Checkpoint Charlie. I know's ridden to respond on the outside, Pavarotti Passion. Ari Single Malt gets up into fourth in queue behind me, Potluck. Further back is Vaz Boy, King of Samash. Caliente is back third to last, and Caliente is giving them about seven or eight lengths start. Saffinate is further back with Global Village and Prince Ponty. I knows the leader takes them to the 700 meter. Ari Single Malt has got the red cap. Checkpoint Charlie's near the rail. Global Village is trying to improve position. Vaz Boy is right there. On the outside of that one is King of Samash. And then comes Q behind me. Further back is Potluck. And then we drop back. Caliente is now being asked to run. Caliente is going through towards the inside. Now pulls out to the middle. It's got a mountain to climb as Caliente. They turn for him. 300 meters to go. And I know still there by two. Checkpoint Charlie a second. Then Irish single malt. Caliente comes out still got four or five to go checkpoint charlie over the last 200 though from i know caliente is getting into the race late checkpoint charlie's going though and it's checkpoint charlie not for the catching second place will go to maybe prince ponty then caliente and i know Number nine, Checkpoint Charlie for Robbie Hill. Last time out, over raced, and it pays up 18, 90, and 410. And Checkpoint Charlie, the two year old, the Brave Twin Soldier, ends up winning it by about two to three lengths. Second, if we just go back a fraction, I think Prince Ponty on the far side, that does run second, number two. Caliente, all at sea, that's going to show lots of improvement. Then I know, who led to just outside the 200, Vaz Boy. Then Q behind me, followed by Pavarotti Passion, and then came Potluck. Toad favorite number eight, and that is Caliente. So the winner comes on well in the green silks, and that's Checkpoint Charlie, and this one bred by Summerhill Stud, and they're victorious in the opener. The second race starts off the bipod, back to the studio. Nice start uh, to the meeting for young Callan Marie, but that's it for uh, Shannon and Robbie Hill here. Uh, just the one runner they brought this evening uh, to the racetrack and boom, it's into the number one box. Number nine, Checkpoint Charlie, uh, bred by Summerhill, son of Braveton Soldier. Peggy Somsunder, not with us, but he's a gentleman that loves the game and nice to see him support different stables as well in KZN. But firstly, Shannon. Nice to see this horse win. First time out, you guys quietly fancy the horse? I see there was money for him. Yeah, you know, he had uh, put up a decent trial and, and we thought he'd go a lot better than in his first start. Fortunately, it didn't go his way in, in the run and, and he ran accordingly. But tonight, he was fit, he was well, he was nice and relaxed in the ring. A uh, nice ride from Callan, thanks to him. And just well done to Preggy and to Summerhill. And um, how are things going? I've had your chat to your dad a number of times, didn't catch up with you, but how's the string looking, Shannon? Yeah, you know, small string at the moment, um, but nice horses, nice babies. Um, so I think uh, we'll, we'll go from string to string. Well, please give our best to Preggy and uh, the best to your dad as well. And are you off home now? Yeah, I'm off home now. Well, enjoy it. Thanks. Lovely. That's uh, Shannon Hill. Uh, Callan Murray uh, doing duty for the stable, and uh, he's going to tell us a bit more about this win. And uh, Callan, well, you got into the scrum very early and at the top of the straight, I saw you move up and that was it. Yes, you know, Shan just asked me to give him a bit of cover and fortunately I was able to do that um, at a fair sort of gallop, but just behind the speed. Um, this horse is probably looking for a bit further, so that was the right position for him because he was able to pounce early and still finding at the line. So definitely a horse that's going to be looking for a bit of, bit of ground over, over time. I know you've done your interviews with Warren that's going to be played on Teletrack, but you would have had a look at your mounts on paper. Anything stands out for you? Look, um, I can't say anything stands out, but I am here trying. Um, just hoping, hopefully they're also in good shape and can perform today. 
before you leave us, you know, from everybody in KZN, I know it's all over social media. There's been media re releases as well. But just for, for everybody here, your fans in KZN, congratulations. I know you had a short stint in, in Hong Kong, which was very successful. But now you've got a job. Yeah, thanks very much. It's definitely a huge honor to be going over. And I must just say a, th a huge thanks to everyone here in Durban who supported me. Um, this was obviously where I started out racing. So this is my route to racing. And huge thanks to everyone that got me to where I am today. It's really an honor to be going where I am. All the best for the rest of the evening, young Callan. Thank you very much. I just want to say a huge thanks to Shen and Mr. Hill. Very nice to ride them another winner. And well done to Preggy. And obviously a huge thanks to my sponsors, Aventure. Well played. Cheers. Thank you. Lovely. As we mentioned, Murray Hill, Preggy Somsundra, Summer Hill Stud, number nine, Checkpoint Charlie, nine, uh, two, eight, and four. That's the way they crossed the line in a quartet that's paid in excess of 4,000 rand. Up next is where the exotics will begin, race number two. It is the start of the part pot, and that will be at 17.30, half past five.